In this video, I'm going to just introduce you to a few of the ways that I like to use my blog in the classroom. I have on my blog a home page, a spelling list, and a newsletter page. The spelling list and the newsletter are still from last year, but I'll show them to you. The spelling list is pretty simple. All you have to do is go in and uh, edit the page and put your spelling words there. And on my newsletter page, uh, if you have your newsletter typed up on your computer, all you need to do is copy and paste it onto this page. Now to do that, you'll have to sign in to your account. And I'm already signed in, so I'm going to go to Mr. McQueen's blog and view it. Now, anytime you see this uh, little wrench and screwdriver, that means you can edit. So I could add more pages to this just by clicking edit here. And to do a new post, I'll just press new post to put anything else on here. Right now, I have uh, one of the things that I like to do is post assignments. Uh, I have my summer assignments on here, and I have my little Vokey here introducing the summer assignment. Um, Welcome to Mr. McQueen's pre-AP language. And all he does is kind of talk. Um, another way that I like to use it is I like to do many... Uh, web quests. I give the students information as far as my blog uh, web uh, website, the blog URL, and I also put links to different uh, sites that I find online to them so that the kids can go in and learn more about the stories we're reading. I have one here on the California Gold Rush, and I have linked it to uh, the website. Another one, I had a Titanic virtual field trip that I found online. That the kids just went to my blog and were able to go through my blog instead of you know searching all over the internet no telling what's going to pop up they could go to my blog and I already had the links there for them so those are two or three of the different ways that I like to use my blog I like to put uh, links that I think the kids would find useful like the Vokey site they might want to make their own Vokey I plan on using the comic strip maker um, it was a website that I found uh, that the kids can go in and make their own comic strips. I have my pre-AP class website already posted on here. Uh, we have a site where parents can put lunch money on the students' accounts, so this is useful for, for parents. And I also have the middle, middle school website uh, under my links. So I do use this a lot in my classroom, and I hope that once you've set yours up, uh, you can do that also. So go ahead and set your... Uh, set up your blog and uh, send me the link to it and if you have any questions let me know